Welcome to my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Tuesday, the 14th of January. We've got a, uh, a pretty um, mixed outlook really across markets today. It's interesting that we saw a fairly positive move coming out of um, certainly the US session and also Asian session, but that's just dissipated somewhat this morning. Um, we've got the, um, the US and China signing of the uh, phase one trade agreement um, tomorrow is due tomorrow, and in front of that, the US has removed China from its currency manipulator list, um, sort of paving the way really towards the signing of that agreement. Um, and it's be really interesting to see how this one plays out because we have seen some really strong moves on markets. S and P 500 again regaining upside and closing at all time highs yesterday. And that sort of um, sense of risk appetite um, coming through does creep into certain markets. You've got dollar yen breaking out. Um, you've got the gold price, which fell back quite strongly um, last night um, and also early morning today. But those moves are just dissipating slightly, just unwinding a touch. Um, dollar yen back below 110 big figure, interestingly enough. Um, it would be very interesting to see how this one plays out because dollar yen plays very much closely in line with the 10-year yield of the Treasuries. Certainly no breakout above 195 on the Treasury 10-year yield and uh, back lower again today. So you'd be treating that breakout on dollar yen with certainly a bit of caution, I think, um, and uh, exactly to how that one plays out. But uh, we have the uh, VIX volatility a shade higher today, but still pretty low. Um, dollar index fairly flat, but look at the Chinese Yuan rebounding intraday um, off uh, an early morning strength. Um, and uh, just unwinding slightly, we saw uh, overnight the trade balance for China um, pretty positive actually in the fact that we saw exports increasing more than expected, imports increasing more than expected. So broadly speaking, that would be risk positive. But certainly as European traders have taken over, not a huge amount of conviction um, in these markets. Um, equities sort of broadly mixed really. FTSE and DAX are basically flat on the day. Uh, little real direction in terms of Forex majors, Aussie and Kiwi are slightly lower. Sterling again under pressure. Um, Sterling's fallen below 130. Big figure. I'll talk about the technical implications of that um, as uh, the um, several members of the MPC have turned increasingly dovish. Um, but uh, Sterling's fallen on the back of that. But is this a buying opportunity will be the interesting question that we'll pose in our video. Um, Okay, so in terms of data points today, uh, we've got the US inflation numbers at 1.30, and they are expected to be 2.3% on the core, 2.3% on the headline. So nothing really doing in terms of, oh, sorry, let me just resize that. So it's in line here. Uh, nothing really doing with regards to changes on those numbers apart from a little bit of a tick higher on the headline CPI, but basically as is on the core. Um, so considering average hourly earnings falling away, headline inflation increasing, that's, mm, yeah, that's not great um, necessarily for the dollar, but uh, we shall see how that plays out this afternoon. Um, now, in terms of my chart today is silver. Now, interestingly enough, we have seen silver just edging towards breaking down. Now. If you look on the hourly chart on silver, zoom out a bit, you can see that this is a top pattern, arguably a head and shoulders top pattern, certainly not perfect by any means, but certainly is topping out potentially. 1775 was the early January reaction low. That uh, then produced a little head on the initial reaction lower, but uh, is now starting to gather a little bit of momentum low. But look at these momentum indicators. They are on the brink. Let's see the RSI, pretty much bang on 50. MACD lines on the brink of a, well, they are bear crossing lower. And also stochastics are falling away. So it just suggests that silver is in this retracement mode. 50% fib of the bull run comes in at uh, 1767. So losing that would open 61.8% FIB and also you've got the pivot line around 1730. So you could say between 1730 and 1740, which is the 61.8% FIB level, you're likely to see that as the next target area for this retracement 
of this move. But as with gold, I really do see silver not necessarily as turning bearish, but this is more of a, a, a reaction lower within this uh, sort of a bull run higher. And um, I'm not entirely convinced you're going to see that, for example, back at the lows around 1650 area. I don't see that happening. I think around that 1730 mark would be an interesting because that is a, a, a pivot line since August, really. And I think that uh, that would be um, an interesting retreat point that you could start to see support beginning to build once more. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.